Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Omar. I will show you how to do Friedman ANOVA test in SPSS in this video clip. This is a data taken from 10 participants in this study. Participant 1 to 10. And uh, a body weight was measured at specific point uh, time on that um, study. The aim was to look for the effect of uh, exercise on the body weight. So each individual body weight was measured at 0 0.0 before the exercise and then uh, body weight was measured at after one month of the exercise and the individual was doing a half an hour exercise sport per day. And then at the end of two month or so, months or so, the body weight was measured again. So we can see here from this data that each individual has a measurement. So these all three columns are related. So these data are related. And if we want to find out if there is a difference between all these three um, variables or samples, uh, since they are small, 10 cases and the distribution of the uh, data on each group is not normally distributed. I have checked that and I will show you in a future video clip how to do that. So to do the analysis on these data non-parametric and small and not normally distributed and more than two groups, we click, click on analyze, go to nano, click on non-parametric non tests then legacy dialogue then scroll down to k related samples hit the bottom you will have a window here asking you again as you can see here there is uh, an icon for friedman friedman test we'll click on that we'll ignore this i might come to this later on a subsequent video clip to explain the difference between all these three so i want to transfer the control to the test variables and the one month and two months and I will click on the exact, I will keep this window the same, I will not do any further changes. I will explain in depth in future uh, videos what is Monte Carlo and the exact. Statistics, I will click on that icon and, and, and I will select descriptive and click on continue. Then click hit the button for OK. Now, SPSS will generate an output, will give you some descriptive statistics. The control, the one month, the two month. Uh, the samples in it 10 and then it will work out the mean for each body weight in each group and the standard deviation. However, this is not of our concern. Our concern is really Friedman test. So what have Friedman test uh, did in this SPSS? It took the data from the control month and uh, two months and put them into rank and worked on the rank and then calculated the significant difference between uh, all the three, all the, between the, all the three groups. And uh, is, again, the Friedman generated a p-value that is less than 0.05. So these data and these analysis, this test shows that there is a significant difference between the three groups. But it doesn't, so there is a difference. If you exercise one month or two months compared to no uh, zero exercise. Um, so, but that test doesn't tell you which, which groups, two groups together are significant and which are not. So there is, there are two ways to do that. I think I will show you one in another video clip. I'll show the other one. I'll show you another way. So there is one way. One way to do that is to go to do paired tests, non-parametric paired tests. And non-parametric paired test is a Wilcoxon signed rank test. To do that, we click on analyze, back again to non-parametric test, then legacy di dialogue. And instead of clicking uh, K related for this K for more than two samples, we'll go for two related samples. A window will appear. And as you can see here, Will Coxon test is uh, icon is um, clicked on. So what does this test do? We'll compare the variable between control and one month control and two month and then one month and two month. To do that, we click on control and click on it. 
So, and then I want to control to, to compare control into month one. Click on it. And then again, I want to compare control to two months. Click on that. And then I want to also to compare one month to two months. So here now I have a combination comparing control to one month, control to two months, and then one month to two months. Here I will click on exact, and as I can see here, we will just leave this uh, window as it is and hit the continue. On the options, I will click on descriptive and will I, I will click on continue. And then I click OK now, hit the button for OK. This Wilcox and signed rank test is calculated. And as we can see here in this uh, Wilcox and similar to Friedman, put the data, take the actual data in two groups and put them in ranks and then compare uh, the data in one month to control and uh, two months into control and one month to two months. And it works out the mean rank for each combination of group. And we scroll down to the uh, last table we see here that Wilcoxon has worked out the value for comparing two groups month with control here it does say there is no significant differences as the b value is more than 0.05 however control with two months there is significant difference and with uh, one month and two months there is a significant difference so this is really the way to find out which groups two groups uh, are significant have a really a significant uh, differences or do have a significant density differences when they compare to each other so and if you are using Friedman you really probably need of anyone to further detail and further information on uh, if there is a significant difference is to do followed up by Wilcoxon signed rank test to follow up and find out which two groups really had a significant difference and which are not.